that you just want me to fuck the whole hood? Huh? You want me to lose my virginity to a tampon? Come on, you know I don't use these shits, baby. Are you serious? For real? Oh, you know my pussy is like that big, baby. Like this big. I want no shit up in there. Buy me some pads. Shout it. Shout it. Shout it. Shout it. What's up guys? What is up? Yo, I miss you guys so 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 much. Pardon my hair. Um if you watched the last video, you know that my hair is going through a few things, but a bitch got an appointment Saturday, so I'm gonna rock this up until then. Today's topic is going to actually be user submitted um you guys are starting to ask me actual questions and it's so exciting because it's like it's not just me talking it's like no like somebody actually asked me this so today's topic is actually going to be about Dottie. <laughs> Lottie Dottie. We like to party. Hey. Oh. You young kids, y'all know what that is. Today's, I look like I got lip gloss on, but y'all know better. Don't try it. Don't try it. Today's topic is going to be about your period. It's never a comfortable topic, but I do feel like it's something that does need to get talked about. So the question that was posed to me was, how do studs, you know, handle their period? The person, you know, wanted advice on what she should be doing while she's, um, you know, on her period. And I feel like maybe a couple of lesbians out there are like, what do you mean? You just handle it. That kind of indicates that this video might not, you know, give you advice because you don't need advice in that area. But I think that you should still watch the video because it kind of like introduces you to something maybe you didn't know that a lot of studs go through or, you know, butch go butches, butches. That sounds really fucking weird. B -b 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 butch women. A lot of lesbians that are quote unquote more masculine and more dominant, they do go through a lot of difficulty in regards to their period. The number one reason is because most butch dominant, most of those types of lesbians are not wearing the right underwear when it comes to their period, you know, their time of the month. Most of us, we are wearing what? Boxers, we are wearing boxer briefs. Most of us don't just randomly have fucking panties. That's not something that we keep in our drawer. And number two, majority of, eh, eh, get it out. Majority of that, majority, I'm just gonna say lesbians, okay, throughout the whole video, cause I don't wanna keep going down the list of stud. Cause it's like, eh, am I really a stud? No, not really, but the outside sees me as that. You know, so fuck the labels. I'm just gonna say majority of lesbians, okay? There we go. All right, so majority of lesbians um, do not wear fucking tampons. Point blank, period. What you say, you just want me to fuck the whole hood? Huh? You want me to lose my virginity to a tampon? Come on, you know I don't use these shits, baby. Are you serious? For real? Oh, you know my pussy is like that big, baby. Like this big. I want no shit up in there. Buy me some pads. If you are a lesbian and you have had dick before, that's cool and dandy. However, regarding this topic alone, your opinion on the whole tampon thing it is a little bit invalid i'm not trying to say that to be mean i'm not trying to joke it's just like at the end of the day a woman that has had something go up there often you're not gonna comprehend why <clears throat> it's uncomfortable for a lesbian that has never had anything go up there besides a fucking tongue maybe you know and a lot of lesbians aren't even there. But that's a whole nother video, y'all. We ain't got time to talk about touch me not studs right now. Just know I am not one. You want to get with me, baby girl? <laughs> get your ass down there. All right, now I'm losing focus, guys. I don't do tampons. I never have put a tampon up there. I wouldn't even know what the fuck to do with it. I don't want to wear a pad because I don't want to feel like I'm wearing a diaper. I used to kill every single girl that was... Let me introduce you to something. Bam! Always infinity pads. Always infinity pads. I found out about them my freshman year of high school. They are God's gift to women. Focus. They are God's gift to women. I promise you, any female out there that says that they do not like to wear pads because it feels like a diaper, you have not tried always and fit. No, the hell you haven't. You not go sit here and lie. Studs, it is OK 
okay don't ever let anybody tell you that you have to be wearing a tampon any girl no regardless of sexuality your period is a very sensitive topic but especially when you are a little baby stud i just really want studs to understand that this is a natural thing it is a beautiful fucking thing. There's a lot of women out there that they actually never get their period. So I feel like people need to definitely like embrace, you know, their womanhood. I was about to say womanality. 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 Let's put it right here. You guys just really gotta like embrace it. So my advice for any, you know, stud or lesbian that's just really feeling way overwhelmed, way uncomfortable due to being gay and having their period it is normal it's okay do not feel bad about it number one thing wear the right underwear because there is nothing more pathetic than you trying to fucking put a pad on boxers i have been there don't do it don't be dumb like me please get some motherfucking panties get some granny panties it is okay to have panties with the pad put boxers over your underwear do what makes you feel comfortable. I still do that to this day, and I'm going to continue to do that. I don't feel comfortable knowing that the only underwear I have on are some fucking panties. So here we go. Get the right underwear. Stop being ashamed to go out and get some fucking granny panties. Nobody is going to know that you're wearing actual female underwear besides yourself. Put boxers over it okay number two get your always infinity motherfucking pads because they will save your life they will make you feel less overwhelmed they will they're in the set they're the lighting want to get good as soon as i'm about to leave okay but anyways guys and number three don't be afraid to you know just share it with your homies your group of guy friends if you're not feeling good man it is okay to say man i'm fucking cramping take your pills like i literally used to be afraid to like pop my advil pop my motrin because it's like i don't want to explain to my homies oh i'm really cramping it's like nah fuck that shit you are a woman own your womanality <laughs> own your womanhood guys but all right guys i gotta go because this is a new job and i shouldn't be late and oh shit i'm late <laughs> all right guys i love you see you guys later